Welcome to IGN Plays Live with Forza Horizon 4. I'm Ryan McCaffrey. This is Tom Marks. Hello. Hello. Welcome to winter here in Great Britain. Oh, yeah. Forza Horizon 4. It's uh, the ultimate edition, if you're pulling up a little extra cash, is out this Friday, I believe it is. Might be Thursday. The, the regular version out next Tuesday, October 2nd. So, Tom, uh, you've taken to the streets here in an Audi TTS. Yeah, I wasn't sure what type of car we were going to get, or and also what type of uh, season we were going to get, because it varies a lot, and this is uh, the Ed account, so this was a shared account for IGN. And yeah. I'm, like, getting thrown in here, which is why we have our license plate as Donkey64. <laughs> yeah, Thank you a bunch much, of Barrett Courtney. A bunch of different IGN folks have been playing off of this. Uh, so we're, we're a decent bit into the game, which is nice, because if you played the Forza Horizon 4 demo, you know that that takes place pretty well at the beginning of the game. So this will at least give you a chance to see another season. We're jumping, jumping ahead. Uh, tons of different events unlocked and ready to go here. Yeah, we've got a barn find, a couple barn finds to do, which I'm really excited about because those are some of my favorite little well, things to do. Why don't we start with it? Let's see if we can do a barn find. Why don't we go oh, get all one? All the way up? Okay, here. Well, so. how, how far is it? Uh, it's it? not crazy far. It's it's you know it's it's a decent way. Let's see if there's maybe a race on the way. All right, like we can sprint. do that. Yeah, that sounds good. Uh, Cross country could be cool. That one you had there. Yeah, but that one wasn't very far, right? Okay. Like it was just. Yeah, you want to take a ride somewhere? All right, let's just let's just head on up that way then. Rock and we're roll. We're just going by the by the lake, and I think this lake might be frozen in winter. Let's find out. So as you go through it, someone's hedges. That was someone's yard. Tom. Well, you know what. <laughs> they they can deal. Uh, this is um, I, but for anybody wondering. By the way, I also turned off some of the the like what are they called? The, like the driving training assist? wheels. Yeah, the yeah. driving assist, the traction assist. I like all of that stuff. Yeah, I'm kind of a, a medium guy with mm -hmm. with Horizon myself. Where it's like I don't need to dial. I don't personally want to dial it up all the way to motorsport or some oh, motorsport no, no, no. levels. Me neither. But I, you know, I don't want it to be on baby mode either. So yeah, you know, turn a couple things off here and there, but still have a good time. Full sim is not what I'm looking for either. <laughs> All right, let's go off road. Frozen to, Lake. Yeah, frozen lake. It's that's not, not frozen. frozen. Abort! Abort! <laughs> abort! <laughs> oh, Tom. Ooh, okay. That's a okay. real. That's a wall that's not gonna get. Uh, if you're joining us on IGN, you can chat there in the chat window, right on the homepage, or of course, if you click in, it's there as well. Uh, we're also on youtube.com slash IGN, as well as twitch.tv slash IGN, and mixer.com slash IGN. Join us on any of those. Not sure where you're watching from now, but uh, feel free to chat with us as Tom is determined to find a frozen over lake. I saw one in our review, and now <laughs> it's just all water. It's Maybe it needs to be later in winter, or it's, you know, we're getting into January, February there, range. This might also be an optimistically <laughs> big lake to freeze over. I'm not sure. <laughs> Maybe. Uh, I'm really glad. This is my first time playing in winter outside of just the brief E3 yards. demo. Yeah. I'm really glad to feel that the roads are not just pure ice. Um, right. I was kind of worried that it would basically be impossible to drive anywhere. Oh, I am talking instead of paying attention. Uh... I was worried it would be impossible to just drive anywhere normally Turn in winter, left. and that it's not the case so far. Turn left. All right. I really dig this paint job that uh, that Barrett has put on this car for us. I'm I'm so curious of what other things like the Donkey 64 are like hiding in the corners of this <laughs> account, just waiting to be found. How much have you played of this so far? Uh, I've, I've, I did about the first two hours of the game at a preview event a month or so back. And I've got my review copy sitting. Uh, Luke Riley, of course, out of our, our Australian office, did the review, which I really encourage you to go read and or watch on IGN or YouTube. Because Luke, I, I would put Luke up as the Whoa. foremost racing game expert games journalist in the world. I think there's nobody better with racing games on this planet than him. Uh, he threw a 9.6 out of 10, highest score for any Forza game ever on IGN, and probably one of, if not the highest, racing game scores we've ever given to any game ever. That's how good, that's how much Luke thought of this video game. Yeah, I can't wait to play more. I'm really, uh, really eager to dive into this. Uh, you're literally diving into the rivers and lakes. All right, that is true. <laughs> 
All right, so we're in drone yes. mode here because I, I feel like this is the easiest way to find it's the barns. Way to and um, uh, drone mode is Can drone I, mode um, and the photo uh, mode in this game are two of my kind of like the n little things that th they're those things that don't need to be in games and are such nice touches when they are. Uh, especially photo modes. Yeah, you gotta um, figure this drone mode was probably born out of a literal, a developer camera. Like, oh, uh, we need to right. we need to just be able to pull the camera off the car and go look at stuff. And then, well, why don't we just turn it into a feature for the game? Yeah. Uh, the drone is I, very durable, too, because I'm crashing into these trees like nobody's business, and it's, it's holding up. Uh, one of the things Luke said in his review that I thought was really cool is that the, um... The cars you find in barns are like very much like British culture, British heritage yes. cars. Yeah. They're very English, which is cool. I like that they put that sort of level of detail into it, that you're not just, you know, opening up American muscle cars <laughs> in, that yeah. are rusted over in an English garage. Yeah, and, and, and they did that. I mean, uh, Horizon 3, which was in Luke's backyard of Australia. Right was had had holdens and stuff in it and and a lot of more you know things with an australian tilt to mm -hmm. them uh kimbalina 66 on twitch chat asking this is going to be on game pass on release day yes yes it is if you're a game pass subscriber you're getting yourself some Forza so, Horizon 4, and I very much encourage Smash you to try it out. Alright, I kind of struck out with that drone in the back half of this forest. We chose a very difficult thing to start out on on this stream, I feel like. Well, you know, we like to make it tough for you, Tom. <laughs> wherever we can. You see anything? My uh, favorite car... Yeah, well, uh, not yet. My favorite car in Forza Horizon 3, and this is something you're going to, I think... Uh, Sympathize or empathize with was uh, the Tesla actually. Uh, oh, the Model S. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because yeah. it had way. It didn't have like amazing top speed, but its That's pickup, correct. its acceleration yeah. was just instant. That you is... press the gas and fire oh, off the hey, starting line. Yeah, it's uh, it it's sport. tough to beat it off Here's the line. The you can place. catch it eventually. All right, we got a little influence sign. We got a fast travel sign around here, but it's got to be here somewhere. Wait, I wonder, it could it even be like in a hillside? I don't know. I'm gonna stick to the roads right now. Let's see if we can find it. It's really cool how much this environment has changed uh, in winter because I've driven through these these forests in demos and it did not look like this. Yeah. So if you're just joining us, we're we're trying to find uh, we're trying to do a barn find here in Forza Horizon 4. Tom's off-roading in his Audi TTS. The perfect off-roading car. <laughs> yeah, with complete with the Chrome Illusion paint job. Well, here let me let me maybe we'll change it up real quick then, because uh, this is another thing that I really dig about this game is that you can just go all right. What do you think this Jeep, the Trailcat? Well, that would certainly be appropriate for or what, the what you're Warrior trying to concept. do. A gold Zonda. <laughs> How about I like that? Gold. Uh, um, <laughs> let's go with the trail cat. Sounds good. And we can just say get in car, have the car delivered to us, and we'll just start right where we are, but in a different car. Perfect. Which I love. Let's do it. A lot of Tom fans oh, on yeah. Twitch chat. Hi, friends. <laughs> I know those folks. They're a bunch of rowdy kids. You know Mr. Twitch? <laughs> yes, we're friends. We're familiar. Oh, this car drives different. <laughs> Man, it handles the dirt way Got better. Got the uh, American-style license plate on there, being yeah, yeah, an American yeah. vehicle, a Jeep. The little details. Uh, let's see. We have a request. Uh, so, Mitchell, if we might be able to move the chat, or the, the window over to the top right, because we've got the speedometer in the lower right corner. There it goes. Oh, man. I may, Excellent I, feedback. Appreciate that, I folks. might be giving up on this barn. I'm not going to lie. I feel like the people want races here. Yeah, I mean, we don't want to wander around forever. Unless it's that. It's not that house, is it? No, it's not going to be that house. If it's that house, I will be very yeah, depressed. It looks like it's, it's just the outside the road. circle. Uh, is it? It's not outside the circle, but I think it's just a house. Yeah, it seems oh, that like That tree it. is giving me trouble. Or that pole. <laughs> All right, Tom. That's one of my favorite uh, kind of tricky little things in these games is in any racing game, really, is like what can you drive through and what can't you? Yeah. And there are these these moments where, uh, you know, you'll you'll 
be able to drive at full speed through a planted tree, but then a pole, like a light <laughs> right. pole, will just like stop you dead in your tracks. <laughs> it's true. Let's get into a different car. What do you want to see? This is a street oh, race. Of this group? Let's see here. I mean, can we check out the solid gold Zonda there? I mean, I'll go for Why it. Why not? Uh, chat wants to see cockpit view in the car. But <laughs> see, that's oh. I love driving that way. You're, I think it's super fun. That I, might be asking a bit of me, but I will attempt it for you guys. Excellent. I, I, cause, uh, Project Gotham Racing 3 first did that on the Xbox 360, and I thought it was just the coolest thing ever. It was so neat to race, like, in the, just right in from the driver's perspective. Had a great time with that. I used the McLaren uh, uh, F1 in that game a lot. I might need uh, here. Okay, we're gonna go cockpit view. Okay, we've good. We've got the we've got the racers on average, just so I can not completely embarrass myself in cockpit view. Okay. In the in the driver's seat. Here we go. What is it? It's a uh, back back button. What did I just do? Oh, photo mode. Whoops. <laughs> Up on the D-pad is photo mode, by the way. Did you know that? Now we know it. The more you know, folks. Let's see how good. Something seemed to be on This one? Is it that? That's photo mode. No, no, I, not, I not that. Back. This. Oh, the, the <laughs> select. back button. Whatever Microsoft calls select, which gotcha. after five years, I still can't get right. It's view or menu, one of the two. No, that's... Oh, oh there sorry, we go. it's the bumper, isn't right it? Right bumper. Yeah. We it's... figured it out, folks. <laughs> I don't have them. Oh, this is stressful memorized. in snow. It's so good, though. That got us off Look to a that. roaring start of 11th place. Oh! oh I, I believe in you, Tom. I believe in you, Winter! No, 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 no. <laughs> <laughs> you really you really shouldn't believe in me. That's a, that's a mistake, I got to tell you. I use the walls as turning mechanisms a lot. Oh, my God. This car in the snow it's is... It's not. <laughs> oh, my God. <laughs> Sliding in Did I get winter it? wonderland. Oh my god, this is so insane. Alright, I'm gonna try to salvage this race at all because driving this car in the snow is insane. And I wonder that. I wonder if we're gonna have these periods where for a week you're just literally not gonna be able to drive certain cars. I don't know what I'm doing, but like the back wheels of this car will well, not go straight. I'd like to I would like to add. Uh, you did turn traction control off, Tom. Yeah, because I—that's the best way to play. But I'm not, I'm not saying I'm not saying butt. I'm not disagreeing with you. I'm it's just saying a, a modern car has traction control on it. You have turned it off, and that's so fair. you're making it a little tougher I like on yourself. The, I like turning ABS and traction control off in this game because it uh, it makes me feel like I like actually have to be subtle with the trigger presses. If you don't, uh, if you have those on, it's still great to play that way. It's still a really fun game, but it feels a lot like you can just slam on the gas or slam on the brake, and you don't really need to have subtlety to that because it'll moderate this stuff for you. But this is like, you've got to be a little bit more careful. And I think it's a lot more fun. It's a lot more immersive that way. Oh, oh my God. Oh, this, do it. Oh, you were, no, you were no, no. oh, you had it. It was, it was out. so good. Uh, by All the right, way, let's see. On IGN.com, IGN Spider, interesting username. Yes, yes, I'm watching you. No, no, we're we're out, people. We're out. I can't do this on that car. <laughs> I'm going to a car with high traction, and I'm going to do cockpit view, and then you're going to be happy. Because man, that was insanity. Look at this. I'm in a ditch. I'm in a literal ditch. Yeah, it's a. Uh, this car is not I, meant for I snow. I like the uh, the wet, the sort of snow hitting the camera. That's yeah, cool. Yeah, yeah. That's in nice. In the foreground there. Oh my god. <laughs> Unusable. Oh, that's a wall. That's why that's not But. Oh my goodness. The back wheels on this car are just <laughs> on ice. They're like made of ice. Well, a supercar like this would probably be on super sticky summer tires, which are extraordinarily dangerous in real life conditions of, like this. Yeah, seriously. I wonder if there's a way to change that, actually. Uh, if we go to cars or tuning setups, where would it be? Tune car. Can we change their tires? That's the tire pressure. So that's the tuning. That's not actually the setup. Yeah. Because um, I'd love to be able to do that, but I don't think I can unless I actually go back to the... Um, 
the place. Mm -hmm. The mechanics no, of the festival this is just keep mechanics, an archive yeah. of every engine setup that no. you can okay. access what, here. Uh, Have a browse, what get for to radio station? What horizon station do you prefer, Tom? Oh, we could put some on. I muted it. Uh, I like Pulse, and but I switch around between Pulse and a couple others. Yeah. Timeless is always nice. I'm a Pulse guy myself. There's just something uh, very soothing and relaxing about it. Mm -hmm. All right, we're going to get back to that race, and I'm going to prove that I can do this in literally any other car. Yeah, there, there went James Duggan's drive oh, yeah. God, this car is unreal on <laughs> snow. It's, it's just... Like, it's making me look really bad, but I promise that this thing is... <laughs> Really yeah, you're unruly. getting goofed on in the uh, in the YouTube comments. Oh, I then, don't doubt then it. Then again, that might just be YouTube being YouTube. They're gonna goof on you for any reason whatsoever. It's like sport to them. <laughs> that rock looks smaller. I swear. <laughs> you hear this? This car is in pain. It's literally like crying <laughs> out to me. Like, why? What are you doing? Leave me alone. We're gonna drive a van. We're going to drive a okay. delivery van yeah, and then get back to the race and then switch to something normal. Are you going to... It's got to... a ladder on it. This Are is the you... literally the opposite of what I was just driving. <laughs> Are you going to deliver our audience a good stream here, Tom? Hey. hey -o. It's like night and day. This is like driving an actual car and the other thing was like driving <laughs> a, a hovercraft. Yeah. It was like driving... Someone like an alien who saw cars and was like, maybe this is how they work, and like totally didn't do it right. This car is nice to drive, actually, in comparison. Look, I don't have to touch the stick and it doesn't go crazy. There you go. What a novel Just concept. Plowing through that fresh powder. The British winter. <laughs> I love how the windshield wiper is going. <laughs> this is so tranquil compared to that. Oh, nothing's nothing safe right now. I mean, I'm actually for sure. like I'm actually in pretty good control compared to that that sports car. I'm pretty happy about it. Ah, uh, well, you know. If uh, if you need a good plumber, Tom is currently your guy right now. He's, <laughs> he'll come to your house to to uh, take care of whatever whatever plumbing needs you make. <laughs> All right. Let's do it. <laughs> Let's pick a more normal car, and I can prove that I can actually um, drive in this game. How about a you can't Mustang? Go, okay, what do you want? Go back over the. You, I mean, just the legendary, the, the Ferrari, the four five eight uh, Italia. There, I mean, beautiful. You can make me get in another sports car. Yeah, it's winter, and I want to see you mess up. Oh man. Okay, but I'm gonna tune it down. I'm gonna tune it down to All A right, for this enough. one. That's my you that's could, my ultimatum here. Just put my trade off. Just turn traction control back on, Tom. That's <laughs> never, all you gotta do, never, really. It's never. The, it's winter. It's okay. Uh, how do I tune it back? Oh, that's toggle stats. I don't know if I can actually tune it in this mode. So what if I bounce out? Head over to cars. Yeah, there you go. Oh, tune oh, no, car tuning. was yeah, right there. You got it. You got it. Okay. Uh, uh, suggested tunes, my tunes, Forza, oh, Forza Horizon 7. Uh, stop uh, saying. Get out of here. What? No, why are we doing this? Get out of here. Oh, for the music stuff, right. No, that was the tuning. Oh, jeez. Hm. All right, man. You know what? I'm going to do it for you. We'll go for this. <laughs> Let me just get a sense of it real quick. Yeah, do it. Okay, I can deal with this. All right. I can mess with this. The fact that it didn't just completely spin out there is a solid <laughs> sign. All right, here we go. We've got the a solid Ferrari start. 458 Italia. Tom Marks. This is a matter of pride. I don't think you his, fully understand. Yeah, taking his talents to the UK in a what looks like sort of a, a midnight gray paint, painted uh, Ferrari here. Did you know, I learned? I watched a documentary on Ferrari once that was really fascinating. Apparently, they will paint it. They will give paint any, literally any color you want if you order a Ferrari, since they're all just, you know, they're done by hand, effectively limited right. production. So, if you want uh, Chrome Illusion paint, I think they'll do that for you. Wow! For any anything for the right price. All right. 
Obviously, Ferrari Red being uh, one of the most popular, being how legendary that, mm. that paint color has become over the years for them. I like this car a lot more. See? you, you got to trust me. Uh, nailed it. Uh, nailed that, too, a little bit. Eh. <laughs> it was moderate. I would, I'd say nailing nailing that went a little far, but... Checkpoint. I didn't screw up. All right, I can catch up here. I love this song, too. M83. Yeah. What color Ferrari would you get, Tom, if you were if you just were handed a gift certificate for one? Uh, gold. Yeah? Just the most audacious, gaudy <laughs> car you could possibly imagine. Because I figure if you're getting a Ferrari, you know, you're already going to get people making assumptions, you know, about yeah. like, yeah, about, oh, uh, that guy's got a Ferrari, you know, like, so you might as well lean into that. <laughs> really prove him right. I mean, I do see Ferraris here and again, because here in the Bay Area, there are people with a whole lot of money that are yeah. around. Um, red is certainly the most common color. I'm trying to think about it now. Like, I feel like I never see a white Ferrari. Nobody orders a Ferrari in white. Yeah, it's true. Probably hard to keep clean, right? Yeah. All right. Come on, 25%. Mitchell Saltzman, what color, no! what color Ferrari uh, would you get? He would go black. You can't, I mean, it's tough to argue. Again, tough to keep that clean as well. But yeah, nice, uh, would you do black wheels to go with it? Just like totally black it out? Yeah. Like a Batmobile kind of thing? Yeah, that's uh, not a bad way to go. Go, 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 go. Oh, you got this time. 86% progress on the race. You're up to second place. The the uh, Drivatar in front of you. Oh, 91%. You just draft him. Draft him. Here we go. There it is. Oh, look at that. That was a slick move on his part. The game gave me that yeah, one. Yeah, I think it did. The think game it, gave me that I one. I think it rubber banded oh. in your favor <laughs> that time. Oh, man. <laughs> All right, I got to win, though. I'll take it. Ferrari and White never heard of Miami Vice. Uh, is this 1985? <laughs> it's 2018, dude. <laughs> oh, man. I feel like I did okay that race. That was literally my first race in the full version of this game ever, though. Nice. So give me, give me a little slack here, people. All right, where are we going next? All right, uh, what are We've the activities? Street racing. Let's, so you've got some fast cars on your roster. A little bit, yeah. Is there a billboard around that we could try to smash through and make a huge jump off of? Oh, yeah. That's, That's a, drift a drift zone. zone. Oh, dangerous. there you go. Danger sign. Do that. Okay. So you want to try and get 650 feet to launch uh, of, of launch distance. Okay. So you want to... I would advise you to find it and then uh, figure out the best... You know, right, backtrack right, right. and figure out the best approach from there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm like not great at drifting overall. Oh, killer in this game. comeback by Ooh Gravy U. Whoa! Just getting Come some, on, man. Getting just cutting me deep out there. <laughs> man, I really like the winter in this game. Luke was saying in his review that autumn is his favorite. Yeah, he did say that. Yeah, you get cool like rain puddles with uh, with leaves in them, and you know dried that fallen leaves. I feel like it's gonna be hard for me to not like either like summer the most probably, just because I loved the color palette of summer. Oh, this car handles so much better than that supercar. <laughs> that is one of my main complaints actually, because I love Horizon Three and I like Horizon Four a lot so far yeah. from what I've played. Uh, but there aren't like a ton of opportunities to use the crazy S2 supercars. Um, okay. The opportunities that are there. Okay, there it All is. All right, so you've got a. You're gonna want to smash down through that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The the crazy S2 supercars just like. There's not a lot of straight 
open road. The Hot Wheels DLC was actually really good at kind of adding that a little bit, uh, but otherwise it's not not a ton of it around. Okay, right, you think we got enough speed from here? Yeah, I think that you're you've got a car that's well equipped. Uh, yeah, I'm gonna start looking at maybe Twitch or Mixer because YouTube is is giving me a, an aneurysm. For looking at that, <laughs> looking at that chat. All right. We're lined up. Uh, We've floored it. Yes. I don't think I'm gonna make it. Not 650 feet. Oh, Wait. maybe! Oh, yeah. Yeah. yeah! Wow, you, you really got it. some good air there on that. That was nice. Not bad. See, that's... I love doing those. When I was playing in the preview, at the preview event for a couple hours, I just, I got hooked into doing those. I just went down the rabbit hole and started looking for them all over the map. Mm-hmm. Some of them are hard. Some of them are, like, they really these are. challenge roads, especially the speed traps, yeah, I feel they like can are be tough. really especially, tricky. Especially in wintertime. You know, mm -hmm. it's tougher to get speed. Here, let's do a dirt race. There's one right around Yeah, us. that sounds fun. The dirt races are some of my favorites, too. Uh, Top Dog 97 on Mixer says if he could get a Ferrari, he would do a satin black wrap on the finish, Ooh. which would, that would give me kind of that, like, stealth bomber look. That would be very cool. The, uh, I always am, like, cautious of anything that's, like, there's, like, I've seen a couple cars around the Bay Area that are like matte black. Yeah. And I feel like matte black will, will look great until it really doesn't. And then it'll look really bad. Well, so my understanding of matte, of actual matte paint is that it's extremely difficult to care for. Like mm -hmm. if, it, if you wash it the wrong way, it yeah. scratches and then it's screwed, you're, you're doomed. Right. So All right, we're going with the Baja bug because it's winter oh, time. Oh, nice. Yeah, this will be fun. Baja in winter, I feel like, is a good combo here. <laughs> we should check out some of the liveries too, if we can load up the online. Absolutely. Because, man, I like I, I played most of Horizon Three in like a Bugatti with a Pikachu on it, just a big Pokeball on the front of it. Because why not? Oh, um, one thing I noticed too, if you want to poke around at some point, you can customize the the horn in your car. I put up a video about this on IGN. They have, you can have the Halo theme as your horn. I think actually we might be able to pull that up. Let's see if it's HUD and gameplay. No, I'm not sure where. Is it, it under is. audio? Yeah. No, no, we'll we'll pull it yeah, up in the options in... after this race. All right, let's do it. <clears throat> All right, let's see how this goes, folks. It's so hard to go into these races too with cars that you've n never driven with. Kind of not knowing what to expect in terms of this. Ah, oh no! <laughs> oh, Missing checkpoints is like really rough. It's it's uh, instant death. There we go. For those curious, we are playing on an Xbox One X right now in 4K. <laughs> Uh, Tom is crashing in 4K into that tree. It's all right. There we go. Oh, no, we're not in 4K? Oh, because we're not even, we can't stream in 4K. Right, that makes sense. Oh, what the heck, car? Well, we did not have our top men and women on the case for this, so <laughs> we're in good old 1080p. Come on. Yeah, the... Like I said, I like playing with like auto brake, the assisted braking off. I like playing with the traction oh, control. Nice off. turn right there. Good pass. Thank you. I like playing with that stuff off. I don't like playing with rewind off, except for multiplayer, of course, because you can't do it there. I think rewind is one of the best examples of why I love Horizon, uh, because it's just it. It's arcadey mixed with sim, right? Like right, it's such exactly. good, it's such good driving mechanics, but it still is just like the point of this game is to have fun. Yes. And if you crash into a tree and lose an entire race, we don't. I hate the idea that you'd have to completely restart the race. Exactly. And it's nice that it's just like you know what, just just take that crash again. If if I remember correctly, and I'm sure the chat will oh so politely correct me if I happen <laughs> to be mistaken on this, I think. 
rewind was was invented in for in by turn 10 in forza motorsport 4 if i remember right that's where rewind first appeared in a in a major racing game uh, and I'm they've not, been using it ever since yeah i'm not sure on the history of that and i i like that it's in the motorsport games too it's just that it feels it feels like less the point of of the motorsport games it feels a l very at home in this game in this series too All right, we're doing handily here. By the way, I'd like to I add, did not miss that, uh, right? Okay, we're good. No, you're good. Uh, <laughs> so, as I said, we're playing on an, on an Xbox One X in 1080p, but uh, if you have a capable PC, you can run this bad boy in 4K, but at, <laughs> at 60 frames, and it looks incredible. Horizon at 60 frames is a, is a thing of beauty, even more beautiful than this. Uh, that was you get you get some style points for how you <laughs> how you won that race, Tom. The uh, the the drift backwards into the finish line is like maybe my favorite way to win <laughs> when you uh, when you're really far ahead. That's another nice thing about the crazy uh, snow is that you can do stuff like that. That was just to to say, hey, everybody who thinks I'm terrible at this game, I'm like, okay, <laughs> I'm decent. <laughs> hey, we got a wheel spin, so we get a new car or something. Yeah, let's see what we get. I don't like that this is still randomized. Oh, we got a sweater? A sweater? Wow. I don't like that it's randomized stuff like this, especially when you can get stuff like sweaters, which, you know, who doesn't want a sweater in a Forza game? <laughs> but as Luke it pointed out, as Luke pointed out, there is... <laughs> it's winter, right, yeah. the to the next <laughs> um, as Luke pointed out, there's no microtransaction the stuff. You can't just like buy wheel spins champion. for real money, which is but nice that they're separating that. I it's just still frustrating it that it's takes. still randomized. Keep on qualifying like I this, agree with that. And you learn that title quicker than you think. So we unlocked a couple more dirt race titles because we got to level three in dirt racing. Uh, let's look at the horns like you were talking about. Yes. Because there are some silly ones. Where would it be? Cars, you'd think. Maybe not, though. Yeah, I just don't remember where the heck I found this in the menu. Settings? HUD in gameplay? Uh, no, HUD in gameplay we checked. Okay. Name select. I love how many names there are. Have you know? Have you looked through this list? So the game... It's like sports games where they just load a ton in so they can they can use it in cutscenes. Right. They've recorded all these. It's sort of like sports games, <laughs> but there's also names like Thingamajig or Prime Minister or... Uh, Good show, Prime Minister. Fellow human, El Pollo Diablo. <laughs> you can have your name be El Pollo dude, Diablo. That's a, dude, oh, that is a Monkey Island 3 reference. Yeah. Shout out to Playground Games. There's a Monkey Island fan there on the team. That is cool. I like that. There was a yeah. There was a guy in the Curse of Monkey Island named El Pollo Diablo. <laughs> <laughs> uh, let me think. Where would this be, man? It's so weird. These I like the style of these menus a lot, but they're definitely not um, straightforward. Yeah, can, I guess can is we, the way to put it. Can we ask Siri where the horn adjustment is? <laughs> uh, no, I don't want to fast travel. I just want to change the car horn. In my car, that's not tune your car. Marketplace? No, that's just buying stuff. What the heck, man? Why is this so hard to find? I don't know. Home? Is it just at home? No, because that's this stuff. Weird. It's not not under this. You check the settings menu? Yeah, settings yeah, is okay. nothing. Because it's not under audio. All right, well. Horns. No? Forget Horns it. on. Yeah. Here's All right. what it is. Uh, where are we going next? Let's see. What other what other events do we have out there? Uh, do you want to do... There was like... A, see that drift challenge over in the... the yeah, oh, that don't make me. Yeah, and it's, it's, you've already got the advantage. It's in the winter. You'll drift naturally. Yeah, but I'm in like a really grippy car. Well, you can change that. All right. I actually do really like that you can just change <laughs> cars really quick. Uh, okay. 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 We're going to go for that ridiculous slippy car.
Onyx, car, uh, Onyx Recon on Twitch is angrily shouting at us that the horns are in the car customization menu. Car customization. Okay, okay, okay. So thanks. Uh, you know, ah. just be nice. Car customization? So that's cars. Tune car? Don't show that again. My goodness. Car customization? Where? That's not a menu name. I don't know. I'm like checking. I'm scavenging. You're scouring this UI every time I see it. Car mastery? No. Right, Although we can't I, unlock I, those. Thank you, Onyx Recon. I give so. up. <laughs> okay, so keep in mind that I'm doing a drift challenge in a car <laughs> that can only drift. <laughs> well, that should be perfect. This car is like... The back wheels of this car are like a shopping cart, you know, where they like just spin. They're not, they're not attached straight forward. I love that you've, uh, Turn left. you've equated a supercar with a shopping cart. I mean, it's about. <laughs> look at this. It's about as good as that for me right now. Uh, uh, on Mixer, closing badge seven. The review is out now. Go to IGN.com right now, closing badge seven, while you're watching this, and you can check out Luke Riley's. Fantastic 9.6 out of 10 review for this game. It's a really good review, too. Like, I mean, I, I like a lot of our reviews, but, like, it felt, it feels extremely comprehensive. Oh, that's a wall. Uh, the horns are, we got to be at the festival for the horns. Okay. That explains why we can't find them. That and the convoluted menu. This car, every time I press <laughs> on the gas, feels like it <laughs> wants to be put out of its misery. Kill me. Yeah. Okay. Now we're on roads and it can actually drive. <laughs> oh, nope, nope. I was wrong. I overestimated. I pressed the gas a little too hard. Good God. This thing is a. This is. This is a joke. This car is a joke. Oh, stay on the road. <laughs> yeah. No, 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 no. Ride the handbrake all the way through the flags. This is what I live for. All right, all right, all right. Okay, nope, nope. <laughs> Are you, Tom? <laughs> Are you having fun playing around in the dirt out there? <sighs> Not at all. Not now. Tom's just wrecking cars. I am. Uh, let's do that then. Let's go back to the... Uh Fast travel to the festival site. Sounds and good. And we can we can look at a little bit of the car too. customization. You got it. I tried to go back for that car, so that's on me. But <laughs> <laughs> uh, what's so appealing about this game is it's like incredibly zen. It is just extremely like relaxing and just fun to drive around in. Uh, I. I think it's one of the most perfect balances of arcade and sim. It really is. It's it's oh, phenomenal. Oh, some free cars. Whoa, a 1983 GMC Vandora? That's crazy. Where? That's like the A-Team van. Where'd it go? Oh. Over to the right. Is this the A-Team van? Well, I think it might. It's got to be close. It's If it's not based off of a, maybe not the 83 Vandora, but real close. It, yeah, there see, that go. guy made delivery for it. That's yeah. the first There's thing you Voltron think of. There's a Voltron one, too. Yeah. All right, we're getting that. Let's drive around in the A-Team van a little bit. A-Team-ish. I mean, he the guy did what he could. You know, you, you, <laughs> you'd need to customize, like, do the body kit and yeah, stuff. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And we'll get the... We'll change change up the horns, too. Now that we're actually at the festival. Ooh, look at these pretty cars. <laughs> <laughs> I can't believe we're driving around in an A-Team van. Behold, now. the 1983 GMC Vandura. Ooh. The fact, that, the fact that the button's called explode was a little concerning. <laughs> I was, like, a little worried, but, uh, no. Garage. Car horns. Car left horns. Side. Okay, it is a thing that is just a button. Okay, so go to... <laughs> okay. We have musical horns. There you go. Halo theme. Sea of Thieves theme. Ride of the Valkyries. Yeah. I want that in my real life. That's car quality horn. stuff. <laughs> oh, that's And then there's good. also these other weird ones. Sound I can have effects. that. I'm doing yeah. that one. Like weird. A bowling strike? Yeah. 
Bongo Cat. <laughs> a lot of weird little things. <laughs> Say again? He wants the Killer Instinct one. Oh, oh, oh excuse me. I'm sorry, yeah, I just Too left. late. We're My gone. bad. <laughs> All right, where are we going? Where are we dropping? Uh, uh, we haven't see. done a cross country series one. In the or van? Did we? What was this guy? This was a this was just a road race. Yeah. So we could do a cross country. Yeah. In the van. Good. That one will end up will that one end us up right exactly where we were again? Yeah, it will. So let's go a little out of our way. So if you've kidnapped anyone that and want to cool. drag them out to the wilderness, you've now got the vehicle for it. Oddly specific, but okay. When it is safe to do so. This is actually a pretty cool car. Oh my god, it's slow. <laughs> Whoa! Well, what do you expect? Wait a minute. <laughs> Hold up, folks. I can't even barely turn around. It's night. Oh, Tom, 1983 was not a good year for vans. No, no, no. We're going to tune this up. We're going to tune it up to an S. <laughs> And that way we can also do this for, for Mitchell. <laughs> Killer instinct thing. Anyway. That's good. Uh, upgrades and tuning. So, it's a garage. Find obviously. new tunes. Auto really upgrade. I think it's cars. auto upgrade Makes is what I so want. Far. Don't show that message of course, again. There we go. More about ends than means, Class A. Auto upgrade service. Just pick a performance Buy it. target. It's, wow. Barrett, it's Barrett's money. <laughs> Not my money. That's a nice thing about playing games, just demoing games. That was like $60,000 to tune the A-Team van. What did I just do? I just spent like 20% of Barrett's money. I hope he's watching right now. Ah, oh, that's got a little pickup now. It's not unbearably slow anymore. Oh, we're in the dark, too. Woo! A little bit of drift to it, too. Oh, that's a car. <laughs> oh, no. Ah, why? Why did you change lanes? You are in Britain, Tom. In 400 yards, turn right. Okay, okay, we're staying on the road. Turn right. Got a billboard coming up here. Not a billboard, but a. Oh, no, yeah, a billboard. There we go. Nailed it. There's so a surprisingly few of these hit right now, actually. Oh, no. Oh. oh. I don't do sharp turns, so I chose a tree instead, apparently. Gotta love the uh, 85 mile an hour speedometer. Now, this car, this van, is probably only capable of that anyway, but that was a, for, for all you youngins out there, uh, including you, Tom, that was government regulation. In the early what? 80s, cars could only have speedometers that went up to 85 miles an hour. The government had thought that people would drive slower if their speedometers maxed out at 85. Did it work? I don't know if it worked, <laughs> but uh, they got rid of that eventually. This is very Stranger Things driving through the dark <laughs> in the woods. My, uh, the DeLorean, my DeLorean had an 85 mile an hour speedometer by default for that very reason. I like that you just drift over, like, just wash over the fact real quick that you just had you had a DeLorean. <laughs> it's been a while at this point. Uh, oh, we can't use the van. So, Titan Warrior or Trailcat? Well, we cat. haven't seen the Titan Warrior yet, right. so let's do that. I guess we did the Trailcat very briefly. Let's do yeah. it. There's so many people in YouTube chat I want to just ban. <laughs> so many people. <laughs> Don't worry about them. I know. I'm There's not, so many I'm nice not, people in the IGN yeah, they, they are. I'm not. Yeah, I'm going to just stop looking over there. <laughs> it's just like, why? It's video games, people. It's fun. Like, why do you have to criticize literally everything? Have some, just enjoy things. That's, life's easier and better that way if you just enjoy things. It's like a little weird seeing my hands like this. <laughs> you ever use you're, a racing wheel or anything like that? You're El Pollo Diablo, man. Yeah, I am. Uh, 
Not, I, I mean, here and there, I've, I've tried them. I, it's, it's definitely, obviously, the hardcore enthusiast way to go. Um, but the, I will say the Xbox One controller. We were talking about this with, uh, with Ralph Fulton when he was here from Playground. Right. They're the only. Forza games are basically the only ones that use the haptic feedback and the triggers. Right. Literally no one else uses it. And it's such a great little feature. Just a nice, subtle little uh, addition to your immersion factor. Yeah. Woo! The... Oh, man. You'd be so dead if that happened in real life. Uh, that was something that came up with the Forza Horizon 3 was everyone was praising the... Uh the rumble on the controllers. Yeah. And I was like, that doesn't make any sense. Like, why would it matter? And then I played Forza Horizon 3 with the rumble on the Xbox One controller, and I was like, oh, oh, that's why it matters. Like, it really does. And this game, this game does that, still has that same stuff. Okay, we're gonna break through there a little. I think I'm getting pushed by that guy on my right. Well, you're, you're uh, right in the middle of the pack. Plenty of time, only 45% progress uh, on the race itself, and making a nice move there on the inside, Tom. Continuing, keeping that going right into first place. You know, you've got a voice made for baseball radio. It was, uh, <laughs> I'm still waiting for my for a phone call on that. <laughs> hey, we're on Frozen Lake, or Frozen River. There we this go. This is what you wanted, Tom. This is what I've been dreaming Big jump of. jump right here. Woo! <laughs> Again, we'd have died. Yeah, pretty much. Driving on ice in this game is so tricky. Not in a big truck like this, but like with 90% of cars. 76% progress on the race. Heading for another checkpoint. <laughs> First place by a good margin there. I see on the mini map on the uh, lower left corner of your screen. Yeah, you've I was got, stuck in the back for a little bit. Yeah, you've got a comfortable advantage right now. Smashing through fences and walls. On your way to victory here. Approaching the 90% mark on this race at the final checkpoint. Maybe second to last penultimate checkpoint. No, they just keep throwing checkpoints Water. in for some reason. Huddle. Up. And down. Victory! Oh, look at you. Oh, you're getting it. <laughs> <laughs> well done, my friend. He well done. me into the finish line. Well done. <laughs> you got to make it fun. Why not? I mean, you know, they're just robots. It doesn't matter. They're not. You're <laughs> yeah, not, we're not. We're not styling on people yeah, online. Yeah, you're not showing up other human beings. Right. Although it's interesting that now the the entire game is online. Yes. So we're playing in solo mode, but usually all the drivatars that would be going around would be humans that you could then challenge to races or just ignore. All right, let's let's swap up the cars one more time. Indeed. Find what have something we not else to done? do. Mustang. I'm gonna go Mustang. New Mustang guy, Tom? Uh, I was when I was younger. Yeah. I was way into Mustangs, and then they did the redesign. Which one? The, I can't remember. Er, it must have been early 2000s. I think I know the one you're talking about. Yeah. Is that, you mean, is that the one where they first tried where to it started style like back to the, to the retro, like to the original one, but they, it was kind of like a weird mishmash of old and new? It was... It, it looked similar to this guy. I don't know what year. What year car is this? I breezed right. I over think that. that's the current gen Mustang, isn't it? Twenty eighteen. Yeah. Okay, so so it wouldn't be looking like this. I don't know. It was. It was probably. I'll see if like, I can find it. Yeah, while you're yeah. Racing. It was like they're kind of a big redesigner in there. Uh, Lieutenant <laughs> Lieutenant Scrote says, "Can we see a different season? We don't actually have control yeah, over that." Yeah, we can't. Uh, that's that's a weird part of this game. That's actually, to, honestly, to me, the biggest question still left unanswered about Forza Horizon 4 is if winter sucks. Like, I don't think winter sucks so far, but, like, if I get bored of winter in four days, like, you're going to be stuck with another three days before it goes to spring. And that's, like, a little disappointing. Uh, or it could just not be a problem at all because they're going to give you lots of little things to do. You're talking about this one, Tom? I'm talking about after that. After that. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I think I know the one you're talking about. Driving this Mustang through the woods. 
Okay, swipe, swipe. That was just to reposition, folks. I really want a barn find, but I don't think I'm going to be able to find it. And I don't really want to waste everyone's time working. Especially if I do that. That one? Yeah, that yeah, one. Okay. What year is that? Uh, 08. 08, yeah. So I was, I was, I liked the, the style of Mustangs, and I was into Mustangs until they did that redesign, and then I kind of was like cooler on it. Is this a barn? No, it's just a building. <laughs> it's just a, just a random stone structure. Uh, each season lasts a week. A week. So yes. one, 28 days will go through all four seasons. Well, I guess technically, if you're getting picky with it, 22 will hit all four seasons. But yeah. Or even less than that. I'm going to stop talking. <laughs> but it's your job to talk and play video games. Not when I'm rambling. What is wrong with this car? It does not like uphill in the snow and the dirt. Maybe if we follow this path? There's got to be some trick to these barns, right? Yeah. It's... Where else could the car be? I know we just went off the path, but... Oh, this is the one I was looking for before. This, we're in the same spot. We gotta find some new ground. Ooh, bless you. It's great for, great for uh, broadcasting right there when that happens. <laughs> Ooh, that was a fun drift. Nice job on that. Man, when you hit these drifts right, they feel really good. Uh, no, nope, oh, a little too much. Almost. A little too much gumption on that one. Uh, where are we going now? Okay, let's see. So, cross country. You could do another road. Uh, oh, this is like a house, house. where you buy houses. Oh, go go to the, do the hover. Yeah, go do the behemoth show. Oh, it's already Well, you could go do it again. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's it again. real. I did this in the preview event. It's really fun. Although, I, ha I didn't do it in winter. Yeah, I'm wondering if it'll change it up. Let's find out. Why are you looking for a barn, Vagrant Souls? If you haven't played the Horizon series, the barn finds are these moments where you look... You get a general area. If you find the barn... Uh, you open it up and there's a really dilapidated but really nice old car in it. And then you can, you after a little bit, it fixes the car up and you add it to your collection, I think for free. And so you can get these really, really cool classic cars by doing barn finds. And then that unlocks more and more and more. And there's only a, there's a finite number of them in the game, but they unlock some of the coolest cars. And speaking of cool cars, one of the, the car pack, the DLC car pack that's going to be at launch for this game, ooh, almost. Oh, the Bond car pack? Yeah, the Bond cars. Yeah, so you're it's a bunch of neat those... stuff. That's cool, man. Including the Lotus Esprit submarine is <laughs> right. there. I don't think it can do anything, but it's there. I'm never really a huge fan of day one DLC like that, but that's a, as far as it goes, that's a pretty cool pack. Yeah, it's outside the normal game, you know, universe. Right. It's a little special, a lot of license, right? Yeah. In 200 yards, turn right. Oh. I really like that you don't have to go on any roads. That's in this the game. best. You can just go wherever. <laughs> oh, I'm missing my turn. Yards, turn left. You're good. I like that I'm still getting, like, prompts from the GPS <laughs> as if I'm on the road. Yeah, she's like, oh. Hannah's like, very well. It's just like, well. Should we try driving up the side of that mountain? It wants us to go around In it. In a Mustang? Oh, yeah. I'm doing it. Okay, here you we go. You hesitated too long. <laughs> <laughs> if you had been like, no, that's crazy, I wouldn't have gone, but that hesitation. I don't think you're going to make I'm not optimistic. Oh, I am. Okay. Okay, fair. <laughs> all right. All right. No, no, no. There we go. All right, you win. Take the train tracks instead. Yeah. Get back on the road. Oh. Worked <laughs> out. I really enjoy when the road, when, or when the, oh, a little snow. Uh, I enjoy when the braking indicator has, um, is like completely red when you're going through a turn, and then you hit something, and it just goes away. <laughs> and you're just like, oh, okay, we're good. <laughs> Man, snow. One of the things that's really amazing about this game is you, like, you can't fully tell by watching it, but snow has an incredible impact on handling. If you played the Blizzard Mountain DLC for Forza yeah, Horizon 3, you know that it's 
it's not just cosmetic. It really, really changes how you drive. It's tricky to uh, honk the horn without looking backwards accidentally. <laughs> There's a little side path. Hmm. Where does that go? It's like another path over the mountain. Up to that info. What, what's uh -huh. the... It's a, I think it's a fast travel point. Okay. But we're gonna we're gonna skip that because it would be going out of our way for this showcase. You don't know if we've unlocked the Halo one, have we? I was thinking about that. And we yeah, haven't. I, I don't uh, believe so. Bummer. <laughs> I love I love just thinking about it, the the image of that Mustang trying its darndest and then just stopping. <laughs> Like, well, that's enough of this hill. Right. Oh. Drifting is tricky in this game, but when you do a really nice drift, it feels really good. You're almost there. This is so pretty. The snow and the mountains. Here we go. All right. The behemoth, a giant hovercraft. You're going to race it. So this is one of the showcase events, and that's yes. kind of like a big special thing. Right? Mm -hmm. Like get... in previous Horizons, you've raced against jets. Uh, yeah, there's always something crazy going on. It's always it's always a race, <laughs> but really it's just an excuse to do a cool thing. Yes. And it's a little more curated. And the the Warthog thing is a showcase event. Right. The Halo event. Mm-hmm. Does that car say our minds are always racing on it? That's Probably. the thing we're racing against? Yeah. Right. Yeah, it does. Our minds are always racing. <laughs> Where's your Thanos car? We could probably find one in the liveries online. People make insane things in this game. Jules says he puts damage to simulation, which means oh, if you take damage on your side, you yeah, start weaving. That's intense. Yeah, that's too much for me, to be honest. Um... Whoa. This is so good. That's one of the the, the things I don't do is steering and, and damage to simulation because it just makes it really, really hard. Look how pretty this is. Okay, so it just changed seasons. Yeah, I guess for the showcase events. So this is autumn. Yep. Whoa. The behemoth does not stay on a Please? track. Okay, I did hit that one. Here we go, another big jump. You're going to go right over it. Ah. So the crazy thing to me about the lore of Forza is that in this world... Lorza? Yeah, in this world, it's totally cool that these cars and behemoth and, like, hovercrafts <laughs> are just destroying the English countryside. Just irreparable environmental damage. <laughs> hip, hip, cheery. Oh, my God. <laughs> and they're just cool with it. <laughs> it's all in the name of cars. And especially this event, or this this game, where it's like, this year, it lasts all year long. The Forza Horizon event is 24 hours a day, seven days a week, 365 <laughs> days a year. And I just imagine the people that live in these little houses being like, what about our homes? <laughs> like, yeah. <laughs> Oh, oh, I should not go to the right. You got a checkpoint you got to get through. Oh, a little too much. Okay. We stabilized here. You got it. Ooh. The one thing that's a little silly about these is I feel like you can't lose them. Like, I feel like as long as you're... Oh, I did not realize what I was doing. <laughs> he says, and then before plowing into a wall. As long as you are driving competently, I feel like the game rubber bands that, the thing you're racing against almost every time. It maybe that's, very well. Maybe that's just my perception of it, but it's, it's how it feels. There we go, there we go. See, like that? Yeah. <laughs> like. It really, it really eased up on the, uh, on the accelerator on that hovercraft at the end.
Cable Games says sick of Americans thinking the whole UK is just England. That's actually true, because it does go, as he said, it goes to Scotland, too, uh, which is just the UK greater. Uh, Edinburgh is one of the main cities in this game. Apparently looks amazing. Edinburgh is actually my favorite. It's probably in my top three cities in the world. Like, I, nice. I've been to Edinburgh a few times and uh, for an extended period of time here and there, and, man, I love Edinburgh. So I'm not trying to disrespect the UK. I'm not trying to disrespect Scotland. Please reconnect controller. Now we're good. We're good. Okay. Back to winter. Yeah. It's funny. The, the whiplash on that is real. Um, this seems like a mean barn find. Wow, up in the mountains? Because that's a mountain. Yeah. That's so it's either one. up there or down there. Uh, let's do a street race, which oh, we haven't done good. yet. Yes. I don't want to do that mountain pass one. Oh, let's go in Edinburgh. Here we are. There we're it actually, is. Apparently, we're actually in Scotland. All right. Go West End it. Street Race mm -hmm. or uh, Newtown. Let's go to West End. Sounds good. In 400 yards, turn right. Uh, I don't want to turn right. I like the little nice touch. Uh, the license plate frame says Horizon on it. Oh, yeah. Here. We can... Uh, you going to photo mode this thing? How do I... Look at that. <laughs> <laughs> I really love the photo mode in this game. You can make some pretty amazing things, like uh, reset cosmetic damage. Photo mode's the new lens flare in the video <laughs> game industry, where like every cool game has photo mode and it's awesome can it just focus even it's such a cool little thing uh closing badge seven asking if i've been to the uk i i've been to uh to england twice and that's that's it and once was uh i did get to go for forza horizon 2 i went and visited playgrounds so flew into london and went straight up to uh, Royal Leamington Spa, which is where Playground Games is located, and they are in an, a just a gorgeous old manor that's been converted into a development studio. It's awesome. It must have been cool for them to be building their their hometown, you know, yeah. building their own area. Definitely. We might Shake have to music. we might have to turn on sim simulation damage at some point, Tom, just to see just to see these cars deform a little bit as you abuse them. I'll do it, but I won't do it. I'm not gonna be overly successful. I warn you. Because one of my one of my go tos, and you can't do this with sim damage. One of my go tos is when you're taking a, a really really hard turn. Uh, you use the wall. <laughs> You just kind of slam into the wall at the right angle, and it sort of just guides your yeah, car along. Yeah, Can't do that when it's, that means that you will be drifting the... Oh, so I'm sorry, Van. It's like the uh, the bumpers if you're a six-year-old who's going bowling. Yeah. <laughs> just put the bumpers up, and you know, you'll stay in the lane and get some, hit some pins. It's exactly that. I am the six-year-old bowling of Forza Horizon <laughs> fans. Oh, trees, 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 trees. Oh, man. Oh, I almost made it through that, I feel almost. like. This is a nice uh, area, though. Is there, like... I'm trying to see if there's, like a, like, a train track or something. This is the train track, right? Yeah, it is. Oh, no, that's, that's the a river. river. Oh, and that's probably not frozen over right now. This is the train track. Is it? Looks like, it looks like one. Can't tell anymore. I was I usually like really like driving along train tracks. Catman asks, are we gonna make a Thanos car? Someone just called me. Uh, uh, no, because I'm terrible at the I art in this up. game. <laughs> it's it's the car designing is incredibly powerful. It's an amazing tool that they've made, but it's also time-consuming. 
you have to be good at it and you have to or you have to spend the time to learn to be good at it that's how roundabouts work right you got it um totally good <laughs> or in and i just i don't really i'm not really interested in spending that time when i could be just downloading other things that people make yeah uh, because they're way better at it than me Man, this really does have an Edinburgh feel with these buildings. Well, we're just over halfway through. IGN plays live with Forza Horizon Whoa. 4. You're joining us on IGN.com, YouTube.com slash IGN, TwitchTV.com slash IGN, or Mixer.com slash IGN. Thanks for hanging out with us. We love this game a lot. Uh, I, I really believe Horizon is the best car series of games, period. No disrespect to other games, but man, Horizon is so good. And this latest one, according to today's IGN.com review by Luke Riley, the best one yet, 9.6 out of 10. Yeah, I think I think what I would say is I agree that it's the best racing game as long as you're not looking for a hard sim racing game. Yeah. Because there are people well, out there who really are interested yep. in just the hyper-realism yep. of it. Project Cars 2, excellent game. Obviously, uh... Motorsport 7, great game. Uh, Grand Turismo Sport, very good game as well. That's oh, yeah, there's why, different dances you yeah. can get, too. But, yeah, that's why I said car game. Right. That's fair. It's Yeah, it's best, best game car game, not best racing game. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> yeah. That's, that's nice. All right, we're going for a West End street race here. Okay. So the street races are, like, off the grid. They're not part of Horizon proper, supposedly. Your controller shut off. Why did it do that? Yeah, my controller just disconnected. <laughs> it's good. It's good. I am going to restart Very that Very odd, because we actually have it wired here just so that this won't happen. <laughs> <laughs> might have been the plug. All right. That wasn't a strategy, I promise. <laughs> the tortoise in the hair? Yeah. can't let that SUV show you what's up, Tom. So the th interesting thing about street races is that. It's that there's a much wider variety of cars. That was a beautiful pass right there. Thank Threading you. the needle, Tom Marks. <laughs> yes! Oh, no, I might... Spoke too soon. No, 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 no. Oh. What the? I just and... lost signal. Oh, no. <laughs> I wonder if we're even still on the air. Hello, world. Illegal Everything street races, yeah. Just went. Did we just did Microsoft just shut us down? Those the, renegade the IGN streamers. shut the race down, man. We are still live. Thank you, Jules. Is the other light coming again live? It is. Yeah, it said no signal and just kind of went out. The and there's still a the controller just turned off, so the it seems like the system might have just died. Oh no, the pl power plug. <laughs> oh, the power plug. Tom, you're doing amazing right now. This this nighttime race in the woods and with no headlights. <laughs> you jinxed. It's incredible. Yeah, is that part, Jules? You said you used uh, sim damage. Does that mean that if the front of your car gets damaged, you lose your headlights? Because I feel like that would be almost unplayably difficult and during night races. So we are loading the game back up, getting back in it right now, folks. So it's not a. Uh, it's, it's it's coming back soon. Uh, Mitchell tripped over the power cord. He will be <laughs> promptly terminated. <laughs> What's your favorite car game series? Oh, poll a new, on new IGN. poll on IGN.com favorite game series. So, yeah, if you go over to IGN.com and watch uh, the stream there, you can join in the chat and you can vote in a poll of what's your favorite car game series. I like the uh, the jelly bean emojis or the, the gumdrop emojis that accompany that. Yeah, I mean, for me, it's Horizon and it's no contest. Again, with, with no disrespect to anybody else. Hmm? Oh, okay. To come off, come to the studio shot so we don't show any passwords <laughs> <laughs> i don't even know what the password is i hope you remember it i think it just logged in okay perfect there it is 
It's actually guessed. Lowercase. <laughs> One, two, three, four, five. <laughs> That was a good dark helmet voice. That was very nice. <laughs> That's the combination of my luggage. <laughs> That's the second Spaceballs joke I've gotten to make. I got to drop one on Unlock today, too. <laughs> uh, we are loading up the game for anybody just watching, wondering what's going on. <laughs> Power cable on our Xbox popped out. Uh, we are loading up the Forza Horizon 4 right now. We'll get back into it soon, and we'll get back into that street race. Should take just a minute. It's funny, the I forget how long consoles take to turn on when they're not just in sleep mode, right? Yeah. When they're in sleep mode, Xbox and PlayStation just Instant click, on. click right back on, but when you gotta like actually turn them on, it takes a little bit longer. All right, we're loading back up right now. It's crazy to me that Playground Games is four for four in video games like they have not they're they have not even come close to making anything less than a great game oh yeah i see what you mean yeah it's just incredible what they have accomplished it's it makes me scared for what forza horizon 5 will be because this is a pretty cool improvement so, to three which was already a great game i'm gonna just this is purely my own speculation i certainly don't know anything but I would think Horizon 5 will, would be a launch title for the Xbox Scarlet. Oh, interesting. Which would make, you know... Whatever the next one is. Yep, which could leave uh, a lot of interesting possibilities. I know for many years, people, fans have talked about Japan being a potentially cool spot to set a Horizon game. Tokyo Drift! Well, Fast but, and the you Furious! Know, but not just, I mean, there's so much other, you know, landscape and countryside and places oh, to yeah, go. Yeah, yeah. It would be a beautiful game. Yeah, you could do that. some awesome stuff there. And yeah, as uh closing badge 7 notes, there's on on Mixer. There're still plenty of they they did uh Horizon 1 was set in Colorado in the United States. There're plenty of other beautiful locations in the United States as well that you could go to. You could do a whole like northeastern US, you know, do mm -hmm. like fall foliage and all well, kinds of neat stuff. Where were the other ones? It was Australia and England are the most recent two, but what were the uh, other ones? So, Italy as I said, France, uh, Colorado, France. Colorado, was, and South of was France, one, right. and then yes, the the south of France and Horizon two. Yeah, you could do some cool things with a, uh, like maybe a Grand Canyon setting or something like that. But honestly, I don't really want a another Forza in, in a Horizon game in America, like. I feel like th this country's got beautiful kind of unexplored areas, but man, there are a lot of really pretty countries out there, <laughs> like Japan. I think Japan yeah. would be such a cool, cool place to, to have a racing game. Ima King Alpha in the Twitch chat says, imagine the entire USA. I think they made that game. And the it was crew? The crew. Yeah, and that's... Uh... Well, I'm not gonna comment on what I think of the <laughs> It would I, be I don't even yeah. <laughs> it would be cool to see let's put it this way. It would be cool to see a Forza Horizon level game. A playground developed. Yeah, a playground developed thing in the entire US. All right, we're back at our little house. Mox Mana. <laughs> let's do it. You gonna switch cars? See if we can have some I, I wanted to race with this one because okay, we let's actually do it. hadn't yet. All right, rock and roll. But I feel like it's gonna make us go back to uh, new barn room or what's wrong with my controller? Now my controller's having trouble struggles. One sec. I'm just unplugging it and replugging it in. Say again. Yeah, this was. Okay, you are wireless. Should be good to go. Go there figure. We go. We're, we're telling you to go wireless to fix a problem. <laughs> Back in the day, it was like, oh, wireless isn't working? Just plug it in. Oh, man. Edinburgh is far away now. I was so excited to drive around the city a little. Are there any of these things... That Can you fast close. travel to uh, like a oh, yeah. nearby a festival travels. or something? Hmm. I don't think no. we hit any of these fast travel signs, unfortunately. Okay. 
beauty spots. Yeah, oh. I think. Time to hit the road. Fortunately, well, we can go up the coast. How about that? Okay, sounds fun. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Let's let's do that. Let's go for. Uh, let's go for that guy, and that'll get us up the coast, and then we can go the rest of the way. Cause that's a that's territory we haven't really. Yeah, uh, I like that. Gone on yet. <laughs> Rubble just staying on the top of my car for a little bit. Oh, I need to get on the road. Two hundred yards. Turn sharp right. Recalculating route. Recalculating. Listen very carefully, Horizon. Oh, that's a bridge. <laughs> You're still good, Tom. I realized. Still good, my late. friend. I was driving straight towards that influence sign marker because I was like, I'll just hit it on the way. And then as I was driving towards it, I was like, you know, in Horizon 3, they usually put those under bridges. <laughs> then I was correct. Okay, we're going to go this entire way without letting go of the gas. Okay, here goes. That's the challenge. Just and remember which side of the road the cars drive on here. And we'll go into cockpit view. Whoa, okay. That is quite a uh, dashboard display that it, this Mustang has. Oh, yeah. Okay, not letting go of the gas in cockpit. We will see how catastrophically this lands. <laughs> At the roundabout, oh, take the third oh exit. no. Nice. Whoa. Oh, oh, okay. Still good. Okay. Oh, trees, trees, no. trees, 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 trees. Ah. <laughs> don't know what's happening. Oh, Legit don't know what's happening. Hey, I found the road. <laughs> We're <S> good. <laughs> Speed three. Tom Marks is locked inside of a 2018 Mustang GT <laughs> and can't take his foot off the gas or else he'll die. <laughs> I mean, I'd watch it. I would too. I'm watching it right now. That actually well worked done. out pretty okay. Well done. All right. Horizon presents. Oh, we got to do the Baja Bug for this one because it's a. Uh, it's probably gonna go in the sand. Nice. I'm pretty happy with how that went, to be honest. That was we, really there was good. a period where we went through the forest, and then I just couldn't. We were tilted up, and I just couldn't see the road at all, and I'm like, this isn't going to end well. <laughs> all right. I liked this little bug. This was a nice car. Oh, we're going to get out of that view. Oh, oops. I just tried to follow the road. <laughs> Habit. Forza okay. habit. Though. Yeah, it is. Forza habit? Yeah. Forza habit. Hey. <laughs> plenty of time. Plenty of room. As you move to the middle of the pack. Through the low wall. Bumping that guy off. That guy. <laughs> nudging ahead. Oh, we're going into the water. Interesting. Getting a drink there in the river. Oh, nice. I always cut those checkpoints way too close. Yeah. There's the river, or the, the ocean. Nope, too much, too much. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> and I can't reset. I this, can't restart because uh, I went out of bounds. This little, this little bit reminds me of the Goonies, the beginning with the, uh, oh, the ORV sand. race. Wow, that sand is hard to drive on. Okay, okay, okay. We can get it back, right? See? Like that. I love doing stuff like that. Where you use the the other cars to like assist your turn a yeah. little bit. Oh RV. Bullet holes. There we go, there we go. Took that sand turn a little better. Got a nice opening a nice lead right here. Soaring Whoa. into first place, 80% complete. 
Checkpoint. Into the dunes now, Tom. But be careful here. Yeah, sand is really sluggish. It's crazy how they make the rumble make you feel that, too. Like, the, just a little subtle rumble while you're yeah. going through it, and it feels like you're driving in sand. Right. 95%. Approaching victory. Plenty of time. Sliding through. That, First place. It, it, it's crazy that that rumble works as well as it does because it makes... It makes the controller feel like it feels to walk through sand. Yeah. Right? It yeah. just it evokes that it in does, a very real way. And you know, not to belabor the point, but it does astound me over the last five years, this entire Xbox One console life cycle, virtually no one has made use of those haptic triggers. Yeah. The way I mean, uh, who the way would? that both turn turn ten, both Forza games, turn ten and Playground, put them to good use. Basically, no one else even tried, hmm. Tom. We unlocked a showcase event with a train. Choo -choo. I feel like we gotta do that. We gotta do that. We've got uh, 40 minutes left in our in our uh, stream here. Cool, we got tons of time to do that. And you got a bonus credit pile there. Better yeah. than a sweater. That was almost, that's like double our money, basically. Yeah. That paid for uh, hey, that van upgrade three times over. Showcase is oh going man, to you got to go all the way back over there. You got to go up the coast and then work your way around. Yeah, yeah. That's what I'm going to do. Is I'm going to go up to Edinburgh. I'm going to do a street race there and not unplug the system. The <laughs> and then we're going to go over to uh, to the train. Sounds good. Although, I guess the train is going to drive us towards. Oh. See, oh, we unlocked more stuff. We're doing a little too much sightseeing and not enough racing. Try not to make the same mistake here, eh? You're through to round four. Enjoy. Hooray. Okay. So the, those are our two options, is we could cut across the country, and we could do this. I uh, appreciate Caradactyl noticing my, uh, this is not a pipe shirt done in <laughs> Mario Brothers fashion. I feel like appreciate we want to do this. I feel, we're going to stick to the plan, okay? Yeah. We're going to go up the coast. It's all part of the plan. And because we're going to go up the coast, I always do this. Because we're going to go up the coast, we're going to get a faster car. But I take out one little mare, <laughs> and everyone loses their minds. Uh, we haven't done the Lambo. Hmm. Huracan. We're going to go with that one. Because we're on a... That's where that's where I found in Horizon 3, at least, you could get a lot of speed, was that, like, road up the right side of the map uh, that was just uh, going up the coast. I believe, if memory serves, this was the cover car for Horizon 3. Turn around. It is safe to do so. Yellow Lamborghini Huracan. All that right. Tom is systematically destroying. I mean, it's not the windshield's not even broken, man. What so are you Tom, about? Uh, Horizon, you're with Amy. are you a Ferrari guy or a Lambo guy? Uh, I like Ferraris probably more. Yeah. A little, a little more understated. Okay, <laughs> yeah, that's fair. See, yeah. some of them are a little smaller, you know, like a little more rounded. Right. See, yeah, I, I'm a Lambo guy. I actually love, I really like the wedge designs, the hard edges and angles of the car. Uh, always appealed to me as a kid. The Countach, when I was a little kid, was always like just this wonder machine to me. And then the Diablo that followed it, the Lamborghini Diablo, was always stunning as well. Oh, that was interesting. Now you've got the, not only the Huracan, the Murcielago, stunning car. There was just a Sesto moment. Elementa. There was just a little moment of like lag popping. I saw that. And that happened a lot on Forza Horizon 3 on PC. Hmm. Just a ton. That was like the biggest problem with the game at launch was little mo lag moments like that. Right. I haven't seen any of them on PC or Xbox except for that moment. So they've done a great, great job of recognizing that was a problem and for the most part fixing it so it was interesting to just see that little little moment of it oh i need to turn more there <laughs> oh, man. good see turn it's okay yeah, yeah, yeah. it's okay i'm a limo driver <laughs> all right what car are we using for this street race we could do this. I don't dislike it, but also it's going to make everyone else's cars the same class. 
I guess we're going Lambo. We're doing it. All right. This is a different street race than we were doing before. Look at her. You get different dances. Like they've got Sweet. the get the floss dance from Fortnite and all that stuff. Not from Fortnite, but yeah. <laughs> Need I the cars from the Fast and the Furious. Yeah, they do. Well, they had the Fast and Furious car pack in Horizon 2, I believe it was. Wait. Crap. I don't remember if it was 2 or 3. Yeah, but there's been like six Fast and the Furious movies since Horizon 2. Fair point. Fair <laughs> point. At least six. Maybe more. Nobody knows. They just released them in secret. They're just pumping out Fast and Furious movies. Okay. Nighttime race. Ooh. Man, racing in the dark is so stressful for me. Oh, thank you. Banner Ben reminding me that this car that you're driving was the cover car for Horizon 2. That's how it's like, man, it's easy to lose track. So many forces, but they're all good somehow. <laughs> oh, this is going to be a little bit of... Should I try drifting? That was a bad idea. Whoa! <laughs> yeah, I thought you were going to get held up on that fence as well. <laughs> I thought that was like a wall. I thought it was solid, and I was like, oh, what's the worst that can happen here? Uh, oh, nice job. You See, that was... Strategic yeah, breaking. Yeah, you bumped that, oh, dude. Okay, we yeah. got that, that one. Too bad. That fell apart afterwards. Too bad. Okay, we're going to see if we can't do that again. I don't know. We just took the turn better. A uh, pair wants to steal... This the build this build this copy of the game so just whoa keep an eye out for him he's gonna could sneak in here at any minute <laughs> yeah Per Schneider our general manager and co-founder big Horizon fan as you and I are our our uh -oh. numbers are growing Tom I used to be the only uh, Horizon fan in this in this office can you skip checkpoints in street races I don't think so should we test this real quick. Well, you could. We could always start the race over. No, probably you can't. So I was thinking about it, and I was like, that would be thematic. Oh, I thought I could go through that fence. <laughs> Second place. Other car is uh, a little bit ahead here, but closing in with a... Big, uh, you, well. Yeah, that, see, yeah. I missed the checkpoint there. <laughs> now a, we know. That was a good place to test it. Man, I'm screwing up this race a lot. Ooh. Ugh. What That's, the heck? Yeah. Street traffic. Also, I just T-boned that car. Mr. Pudleyson surging ahead. I will not be beaten by a name like that. I might be. I'm not going to lie. He could totally beat me. Oh, 82%. Plenty of time. Okay, we're on the straightaway here. Chance to open up some distance between you and Ooh, Mr. Puckinson yeah, back good. there. That one was not a great race. Rewind is not limited. It's limited by if you want to limit it yourself. Or you can turn it off entirely. And it in the online races, excuse me, in the online races it is turned off. Because if you're racing against other people, then yeah. Yeah. 30 minutes to go. We're 90 minutes into our 120-minute stream. Of Forza Horizon 4 here on Xbox One running uh, on an Xbox One X, but running in 1080p. So we've got our visual effects dialed up, but not our resolution. Just for this screen. All right. So we're going to make our way over and uh, to that showcase yeah, with the train. Yeah, let's race a train. I'm trying to look at the path it's going to take, though, because I want to make sure that we take a different path. So then we're not just doubling up. And I guess that's what we'll do. We'll, we'll go on this other path. All right. Rock and roll. Are there any other cars we need, we can show off? I'm not entirely sure what we have. Let's see. 
not... I guess we haven't really used the Audi. Uh, we could show off one of these guys. One of these boxier things. Yeah, whatever you want to do. Uh, people love Skylines. Nissan? Yeah. Let's go with the Nissan. I really like that you can just swap cars. Yeah, it's handy. Could you do that in three? I know I'm just like questioning whether you it's, could. I can't remember. Yeah, two years later, I, I struggle to remember right? specifics. It's, like, it's a little annoying that when you swap cars. Let's see the interior of the, the uh, GTR here. Oh, wait. Never sold in the U.S. It's, it's very right difficult. Drive. It's very, very difficult to uh, look at the interior of your car <laughs> while driving. Look at those mirrors. That's so cool. Who needs yeah, ray so tracing? Good. Turn left. Uh, uh, nice. Onto the sidewalk, but it's okay. What is this beauty spot? Oh yeah, it's these are fun. It just shows you a cool, pretty moment, and most of these are real-world locations. Yeah, yeah, I've I've been there. It's a Welcome amazing. Welcome to Edinburgh, greatest city in the world. Uh, grab yourself some fish and chips, some. That's sauce, actually true. Rockstar North, cold. headquartered in Edinburgh. Greatest city in the world is like not an understatement. Edinburgh is really just an amazing place. I wonder if they've got the King's Road or anything like that on in this game because obviously it's a um smaller and uh dramatized version oh yeah yeah no there it is though that's that's the Edinburgh castle wait wait, wait. let's make a quick detour yeah because we course. got time do it oh how do i that should do it okay when it is safe to do so what is going on Oh. <laughs> I was like, I can't back up and I can't go forward, but I was lying about one of those things. Why are you telling me to turn around again? Yeah, there's the castle. Oh man, this is like so cool because it's like slightly recognizable, but not exactly the same. Yeah, know? they gotta make it fun. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, here it is. I've been at this exact intersection. That's very strange. <laughs> um, I have a photo of me sitting on oh, this, literally this wall. <laughs> like, it's very cool that this is based so much off of a real place. Turn around when it is safe to do so. For set, you can buy it, Tom. Aww. Oh my god, you can buy Edinburgh Castle? That's really funny. All right. We'll go back to what we were doing. Away we go to the train. I'm very glad that we took a look at that, though. Cause, Absolutely. Because this is this main road is, like, super cool. I've been here for the Fringe Festival, which is this giant theater festival that they do. And, like, it's just amazing how many people are on that road at a given time. Wants me to use the roundabout? No, who wants that? that's you've got to do that in real life. In a video <laughs> game, you don't have to do that. Turn left. That guy. I think we have some wheel spins too if we want to try to get some free cars and stuff. Nice. Maybe we can do that after we uh, after we do this showcase we just unlocked. We're about to go race a train if you've just joined us. Something along those lines. We're not sure of the specifics. We'll figure it out when we get there. At yeah, why not? You know, it's Take the second exit. Back to the Future 3. <laughs> oh, I train. missed that sign by one little inch. <laughs> Turn right. Turn right. Who needs brakes when you have other cars? Yeah, you can save your brake pads. Uh-huh.
C-Note asked, how's the soundtrack compared to Horizon 3? I loved Horizon 3's soundtrack, but so I'm a little biased, but at the same time, I feel like a big part of liking the soundtracks in these games is learning to love them, right? Like, you spend a lot of time with them, you get, they click on at certain moments, and that kind of gives you stories with certain ones of them, if they, like, turn on in a really intense race. Uh, so I feel like a lot of liking this soundtrack is going to also... It seems like a good soundtrack, but it seems like it's also going to just take a while to grow on you, you know? To build up that relationship with it. I'd like to shout out the lighting right now. Like, it's pitch black here in the wilderness, but the, you've got your car headlights that are just perfectly and accurately illuminating exactly what and where they're supposed to. This looks awesome. Whoa, that tree was close. <laughs> little snowy adventure here. Not totally sure how long we're going to be able to drive on this mountainside. We're kind of at a 45-degree angle while driving. <laughs> 1.4 miles. It's Whoa. nice It's nice that uh, Playground takes pity on us Americans. You know, they set their games in, in uh, anywhere but America where they don't use miles for its metric system. Oh, but they can? still, I know you can switch it, but I'm saying, that's what I'm saying, they take pity on us by including the ability to use uh, American units, units, English metric, yeah. speedometer, analog, digital, we'll go analog still. Analog is so much nicer, especially because it gives you the digital readout anyway. Uh, I don't know if this is going to work. We're going to go s the shortest, You're shortest pass between two points. It's very close. Okay. Oh, <laughs> that was so tragic. So how did we get there? Oh, is there just a gate that I missed? Yeah. Yeah, there's just a path. <laughs> Goodness, I'm sorry. I'm getting you too hyped. Uh, let's let's race the Flying Scotsman. The Flying Scotsman Showcase event. Rock and roll. Look at that dancing. Oh my god. <laughs> this is going to be so good. It's winter. Like it's set in winter. Because the showcase events, as we learned earlier. You know when they said the flying Scotsman? I was expecting to see Alex being shot out of a cannon. <laughs> I suppose this will do instead. I do miss the Australian accents. Hmm. Not that not that English accents are you know anything to snuff at or clap Get at. Ready, go. Oh my god, we're actually racing a train. Race that train, Tom. Race that train. Oh okay. You got this. I believe in you. Oh my god, do you hear the music? The steaming locomotive out in front. Tom Marks lagging behind, heading for the tunnel. Dude, this car drives so well in snow. Oh, I'm uh, not so good on ice, though. <laughs> No! I tried to take a look. <laughs> Did you notice that? Oh yeah, you tried to sneak a peek right there. All right, all right. right. I'll, I'll be a little. I'll be a little more careful there. I tried to sneak a peek with the with the the camera, and it did not. Oh my god! Did not pay <laughs> off. God, the traction on this car is just amazing. You remember that gold car that was spinning out? Yep. This is the opposite of this that. This is the just the literal opposite. Oh. There we go. Hey, we were just driving here. Only 35%. This is a quite a race. A lot left to go. Oh, oh. what was that? Totally slowed me down. I'm gonna go back actually past that because I don't want to lose that speed. Very weird that it slowed me down as much as it did.
Oh, I bet you could have beaten it. <laughs> you could have gotten in front of it there. And had a little epic slow-mo moment. Oh, no! <laughs> what the heck? I'm a little annoyed that that got me on that edge. I feel like I'm not doing this showcase justice here. Uh. Nice turn there. Plenty of room to go. Jump the train. <gasps> Sixty percent. Still plenty of race to go. Oh my god, oh my god, oh my god. Kudness asks, do I prefer on or off-road more? I prefer off-road more, but not ice or snow. <laughs> I prefer dirt the most. Ugh. That's okay. You got I'm, this. I'm good with that. I'm good with that. God, this is a hard one. Oh, okay. <laughs> Caught you on that one. Caught you looking. 90%. Oh, come on. I just went in way too, too fast. Quick. Yeah. See, it always pulls it back. It always <laughs> times it out so it pulls it back oh, every man. time. <laughs> so much for the flying Scotsman. We might have to less start than one horizon second difference. Line. All I know is next time I have a meeting in Edinburgh, I'm calling you. Is it just me or did Forza turn into the crew? Definitely not. No, God, no. They're Who very, is, yeah. very different. You know what the difference is? One of the main differences is. They're very different in what they later, ask you to I do, have some right? They, in. the, the crew sure feels qualify, like a yeah? game about grinding to me, and the, the Horizon games never feel about grinding. That they ask true. you to just play and just enjoy what's there. Yep. And I think it's a very, it's like a small difference, but it's a really important one in terms of how, like my interest to actually play. Enjoying Horizon 4, rate the game. <laughs> That's kind of hilarious. Hmm. All right, where are we going? Because we got time for a little bit more, and now we're yeah, back we, in Edinburgh. We've got a little over 15 minutes here. We can do another street race? Um, or a this is around. Arthur's Seat Cross Country? Oh, I've been to Arthur's Seat, too. Oh, I'm getting a sense of where the map is now. That's interesting. All yeah, right, well, let's Arthur's go. Seat is this really cool mountain right here. Well, we can do that one. Let's do that, then. That'll send us back down. Yards. I'm a little disappointed Turn with my performance right. in that race. <laughs> Turn left, turn right, turn left, turn right. Welcome back to Timeless FM. Oh, we're on Timeless. Get out of here. Let's go with Block Party. Actually... Go back to Pulse. Good old Pulse. Actually, no, because that we, we already heard that song. Why is it telling us to turn around? Oh, it's telling us to turn around because we're driving on the wrong side of the road. <laughs> Do you know, um, we'll to with the who didn't do you know if they still do, like, the, the bonus played. songs in this game? There, I'm not sure. Oh, wow, that's spooky. Uh, don't hurt me, please. Phone booth! Doctor Who's dead. Here, see if Stop, Blue. Summon you back with a song. <laughs> Turn right. There we go. Check out the Turn skill point tree. Oh, yeah, we haven't looked at this haven't at all. At all right, so actually, oh, it's, is it by? Oh, we got a pile of points to spend here too. Is it by car? Yes. Interesting. So the more you drive a car, the more you get for it. Yes. So your car gets noticed everywhere you go. Again, instant two thousand, side swipes, skill scores. Ooh, let's get that spin. 
Are the points by car too? A rescue dog saying that Ralph Fulton has said there are bonus songs. Cool. Spin the wheel. Oh, we have 10 spins. We don't need to buy spins. Let's see if we can't get a free car. Just a pile of cash. Yeah, we just have 10 spins from leveling up so much. Who needs some cash? Mm -mm. We got a oh noisemaker dear. horn. I knew it was a bad idea to That's use novelty prize. horns as wheel spin prizes. Off you go and equip it then. Casual dance. I expect to see those dance moves next time you're on the podium. Head home if you want to practice. Oh, that's what it is. It's when you win. Oh, Aventador. Hey. Did we not already have that? No, you have the uh, uh, Huracan. Okay. We got a, a Lambo, and I'm still going. Like, that's not a good reward. No. That's a bad thing to have in the same pool as a Lamborghini. Can you imagine any game show in the world being like, spin this thing, you might get a pair of gloves or a Lamborghini, <laughs> or we might teach you how to do a new dance. <laughs> the gun the show. The gun show. Two tickets to the gun show. I am ready for a really fancy, crazy car. Oh, that's not crazy, but it's cool. New Preza. Ugh. Air guitar. <laughs> yeah, this is this is reminding me honestly of Lawbreakers, which is like a game I really liked, but it was really frustrating that the loot boxes Ugh. had like stupid little cosmetic things like boot kicks in the same thing. Although these actually affect gameplay, so it's a little. Ugh. All right, we got some cool cars. We got some neat stuff there. What else did we have? We not looked at. There's a lot of points. I mean, but yeah, again, it is by car, so. Oh, yeah. So, wait. We'll want to switch cars, you could spend some more points. Car mastery, 11 perks. Side swipes increase your score. What are the other ones? Are these specific to this car, too? Each skill train takes two collisions to break. That sounds like my type of thing. Um, Yeah, let's switch over to one of those new cars we just got. What do you want to see? Uh, the Falcon. No, the Aventador, for sure. Okay. We got that. Thankfully, again, if anybody was just watching and didn't join from earlier, or wasn't here earlier, uh, it is a little frustrating that there are loot boxy spinning things like that, but um, there are other ways to get those cars, as far as I understand it and there's no way to spend real money on those spins. So there's no microtransactions for this. It's it's just, it's all contained within the, the game. And I'm glad that there are those other things, but it doesn't make spinning for random cars a fun way to unlock them still. Arthur's Seat Cross Country. Let's do it. I'm not using this car for this. You're using a hyper car, it looks like. No, 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 no. <laughs> I'll do the, the the Falcon, the Ford. What was the other one we unlocked? The Impreza? I'll do the Impreza. All right. Like All-wheel drive. Hey. All right. Yeah, it is all-wheel drive. <laughs> Uh, you're easily winning. Oh, uh, yeah, I'll do that. I'll bump up the difficulty a little. Okay, here we go. Here we go. All right. This is some bump and bass music going on right now. I usually play on above average or higher when I'm playing at home, but I figured, oh, did I get that? Barely. <laughs> I figure people don't want to watch me lose here. What are you doing, man? <laughs> get out my grill. I'm just saying hi. Just giving me a little kiss. Whoa. 
man, can you imagine if they didn't put the walls here? Oh, man. You just, like, drift off of the edge of the mountain. Up to second place with still almost three quarters of the race to get. Oh, I gotta get ahead of this guy. Come on. Whoa! I wish that drift was intentional and the other direction. <laughs> Ten minutes left in our stream here. See? Wall turning. It's fine. Worked great. <laughs> I know people think probably that was a mistake, but I legitimately wanted to do that. I'm in first place now. Left to right. I guess we... doesn't matter. You're going left. Yeah, I really like these off-road, like, dirt races. Especially the dirt races with laps. I don't know, what about you? Do you prefer laps or, or like, sprints? Um, probably the sprints. Forging a path oh, here, what? Tom. Forging a path that they're using. Oh. Uh. Oh, they're catching up on me still. Yeah, they're right there. Seventy-five percent. This is definitely trickier. Oh, that wall. Hitting that wall like turned me a little bit to the right and it was very unexpected. Man, this game is fun. <laughs> it just, there's... It's, it's impossible to not like. <laughs> it's, yeah, it's impossible not to have fun. Oh, we're doing better. Maybe 3% wrapping up here. Yes, finishing up finish line in sight. Final home stretch on pavement. Sliding on through first place. I like, I like facing the car towards the camera. <laughs> well done, Tom. So apparently we could use it. We could have equipped the air guitar emote. <laughs> <laughs> We've got about seven minutes left in our stream here to see. That was a fun race. Yeah, see what we want to do to wrap up. We've got a little time, right? Maybe we can try to find another uh, billboard if there's anything nearby. That'd be good. Or uh, not billboard, but you know the jumpy, the danger signs. That's the one. Oh. So we at least get a spin that guarantee. It looks like it. No, it does not guarantee a scar. Hey, we got a Civic. Oh, we were one off of the, the Reliant. The <laughs> adorable little guy. Okay, is there anything around here? We haven't unlocked any of the that stuff around here. That one might probably is going to take too long. I'm trying to see if there's anything worth doing. Look, uh... Bamberg Castle. I don't know, man. What do you think? Uh, there's, yeah, there's no, there definitely aren't any billboards right around here. <gasps> it's a frozen lake. <laughs> We're going. All right. Let's go have some fun on the frozen lake. Wait, we don't have much time. You know what that means. Uh, what's my fastest car that can actually handle? <laughs> uh, the, okay. This guy will do okay. Let's do it. I'm getting to that lake. That's my finish line here. I am driving on a frozen lake if I kill both of us doing it. Well, here we this go. Is, this is the closest spot. Okay. Turn around when it is safe to do so. Oh, maybe I was over ambitious with this this car. <laughs> Woo, 
because this thing is fast. Quickly up to 150 miles an hour. <laughs> Jeez, Tom. Yeah, I know. I'm, I'm really, really, really want to drive on that lake, man. You try to get some near misses, too. Always fun. Daredevil. Ooh, this is really nice right now, just opening it up. We chose the right car for this. Yeah, four more miles. Oh, no. Let's turn early. At the roundabout, take the first exit. Oh, my God, that worked. <laughs> How did that work so well? Oh, that was beautiful. Woo. Hooey. Three more miles. I can't believe that worked so well. Oh, I just looked at chat and drifted off of the road. That's what happens. Can't take your eyes off. Don't text and speed. drive. Yeah. Recalculating route. Don't you recalculate. Yards. Turn right. We're getting back towards the road. Oh. In 400 yards. All right, all right, all right, all right. right. We're back on. Turn right. <laughs> Uh, oh. I'm fine with that one. I think we're going to make it. I think we're going to be fine. I'm just excited about going fast now. <laughs> Raise your hands if you want to go faster. Huh. If you can't make the turn... Just don't take yeah, the turn. Yeah, just go through the turn. Close Ice. The river. Oh, if I can actually stay on it. In 400 yards, <laughs> turn left. There we go. <laughs> yeah. Eee. Oh, the ice. Oh, the ice. I'm like not touching anything. It's very, very difficult to drive. Oh, you cannot oh. turn at all. Why did I do this? Why did I ask for this? Oh, this is cool, though. Tom with his winter playground here. Look at this, man. As we're this wrapping up be, our screen. This would all be frozen, or would all be water in, uh, the other in the other seasons. But it's this huge, huge frozen lake. And you can get these crazy drifts like that. <laughs> oh, look at those drifting. Oh, this is cool. <laughs> I like the hot air balloons in the distance there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And I like that it's not just completely flat ice. There's, like, little melty points. Yeah. And um, you can just do this. I love doing this, just, like, daisy chaining drifts. Back and forth. Oh, oh, Frozen Lake. You All were right, well, everything I hoped you would be. Tom, we have to wrap it up here. I'm glad you got to your uh, your Frozen Lake by the end of the stream. Oh, I'm glad too, Ryan. It's, it's been a fun couple of hours with Forza Horizon 4 out in Ultimate Edition form towards the end of this week, out on October 2nd, all over the place uh, in its regular $60 variation. For Tom Marks, I'm Ryan McCaffrey. Please join us just about every day, 1 p.m. Pacific, 4 p.m. Eastern, for IGN Plays Live with another new fun game. Uh, and for much more on Forza Horizon 4, be sure to check out Luke Riley's review on IGN or YouTube. Read it, watch it, check it out. Uh, he'll tell you why it's the best Forza period yet. Uh, thanks, everybody, and we'll see you next time. So long. Buckle your safety belts.